I'm Chief Meteorologist Nick Mariano. So all eyes on Hurricane Hillary and its impacts coming into Southern California as we work our way into Sunday, Monday's time frame. Powerful hurricane category three and strengthening as it makes its way toward the north. We'll likely see Hillary turn into a category four hurricane at its peak strength and then it'll continue tracking its way over cooler water and lose some of its steam. I want to show you this. This is the forecast cone, but I don't want you to pay as much attention to the forecast cone. And I'm going to explain why. Uh, in the short term, Hillary is going to continue to strengthen because as we approach uh, the, uh, the in red, the red contour is warm ocean water, warm enough to support a strengthening hurricane. Once it moves north of that, water temperature is too cold. So you won't have a strengthening hurricane. In fact, you'll have a weakening hurricane as it makes its way along the coast of Baja, California, and then making its way even closer into Southern California. Now, I'm sure some of the, uh, if you have interest in Southern California and you're really watching this storm, you may be nervous come late Saturday to Sunday to see that you may still have a category two hurricane just down to the south, but it is going to quickly lose its tropical characteristics and the wind field will expand. So it's not going to be as much of a wind event as it will be a rain event. Of course, the mountains across Southern California will see some of those uh, higher winds associated with this. We already have watches and warnings in place across parts of Baja California, but going into the day on Friday, I wouldn't be surprised to see these watches extend all the way up the, uh, the coastline of Baja California as the uh, we near closer to the timing of impacts across the southwest. Flood watches have been posted for Sunday, Monday, mainly south of our area, going toward Los Angeles and to Vegas. Significant amounts of rain. This is going to pose a pretty significant threat to flash flooding on Sunday. You're talking tropical downpours in the desert. And you think back to last September with the, what was remnants of Hurricane K and the flooding that we had with that could be pretty similar impacts, if not a notch uh, a bit more significant than what we had just last year. But we haven't had a landfalling tropical system in Southern California since 1939. So this scenario is very rare to say the least. By Monday, the rain tracks to the north a bit more, uh, but overall when the storm goes from tropical to non-tropical. I mentioned the wind field expands. That's why you don't want to pay attention to the cone. And then you see the rain band start to peel away from the center of circulation. The question is, how far north does this rain band go? Right now, I think it misses the Sacramento Valley for the most part down to the south. Just a few of those rain showers that we can't rule out. So in terms of rainfall amounts, the most significant across Southern California, parts of the desert, four to eight inches of rain, three to six for the Mojave Desert and upwards of an inch or so northward along the spine of the Sierra.